All right, this is how the Kung Fu flash cartridge for the Commodore 64 comes. And it, it, I thought this was a box or something, but no, it's just a little wrapper, a little paper wrapper with the cartridge. And so, just a little paper thing. And it's pretty cool. I like the graphics and the imagery of the uh, Kung Fu kick. The future was 8-bit. The flash cartridge. And then on the back, the following types are currently supported. It shows CRT, D64, D71, D81, program PRG, POO, and firmware updates. And it even has a QR code, which I assume will go to their website. We'll have to try that out. The cartridge itself, it comes like this. Uh, I ordered the blue one, and you have your choice. And uh, it, I have the SD card installed on it. It comes with this SD card, with the micro SD, which is loaded with lots of freeware goodies and tools. And on the cartridge itself, you have your special button on the far left. We're going to explore these here shortly. You have your menu in the middle and then the reset on the right. Typically, all this also is seems to be like a power thing too. Or when it's when you power on your computer, it's it's solid green usually. And it sh shows uh, Jim or Kim Jorgensen. And then also the cartridge itself. The, the pins or the pads are gold plated. So that it's a really high quality cartridge that we're about to check out and explore. All right, I just recently purchased the Kung Fu flash cartridge from the future was 8bit.com. And I purchased this blue one that's available for 49.99 pound. You can get it in PAL slash NTSC and you have a range or a variety of colors that you can choose from including the option to just let them send you one and get a three dollar or three pound off on your on your bill the uh, cartridge basically what it does is it has it, it accepts a micro SD card it has to be fat formatted and you can load your games and your programs onto your Commodore 64 using that cartridge the Kung Fu flash cartridge Reading from the GitHub, it says it can emulate different cartridge types, load PRGs, and use D64 images. It says to just place your desired CRT PRG D64 on a flat micro formatted micro SD card and use the built-in launcher to execute them. Now from what I read, at least on the NTSC version, the D64 has is limited use. In other words, you can't switch disks and there's a few other things and we'll get into a little later there's three buttons on the kung fu flash cartridge a special button on the far left which i understand is for it's used for freezer cartridges the me the menu button on the middle and then on the far right is the reset button and then if you look at it if you open up the cartridge it looks a little something like this and then here's a list of the supported cartridge formats one of the big advantages of using this is that you can load the, the Easy Flash supported cartridges and it makes it fairly easy to run those types of, of things. The cartridge supports firmware updates and the firmware update process is fairly simple. Now I want to go ahead and get into the cartridge itself and kind of demonstrate it a little bit before I, before I get into my final thoughts in my closing. All right, so here's the Kung Fu cartridge loaded up on my bread bin Commodore 64 and what the the software that it comes preloaded with is listed right here and you can use the cursor keys up and down to navigate the menu and left and right to sort of page up and page down and then when you want to select something you hit enter so let's go into the bin folder and hit enter 
and let's see what's on there. That was just for an example. Let's go to CBM folder. Let's go into Commodore 64. And you'll see they loaded all these programs on here already. Like they have Galencia. If you want to look at the directory, you hit enter on it. And if you wanted to start it up, you would just go to the D64 and, and start it up. There's the disk. And you just hit enter to run it. And my current uh, uh, setup right here, I don't, uh, my Commodore Breadbin doesn't have a, um, the SID chip isn't working. So I don't have any sound, but let's go back to the menu by pushing the middle button. It takes me right back to where I was. I'm gonna go up to the dot dot to navigate up, up to pop up a menu, dot 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 dot. And so that's just sort of how you navigate around. Now, I. What I've noticed is I can pop out the SD card while the unit's running. I'm not sure if that's recommended or not, but I haven't had any problems doing it. And I'm popping in another SD card and then hitting the, the refresh, the menu. And I just wanted to show that you can load another SD card. And you'll see on here I have a few updates. Even though right now the Kung Fu Flash shows that I have loaded the 1.30X already. Earlier, I had to upgrade it from 1.23 1 to 1.29. And then I just followed the same steps to do this upgrade to the 1.30X. And then when I tried this 1.30 the first time, it didn't let me, but let me try it. So here is a 1.30 upgrade. Let's run it. There it is. So now I'm on the 1.30 version. In the previous version, I had a problem with loading even the first disk. I understand that there's some sort of an issue with loading uh, disk two, but when I tried running like below the root earlier, it wouldn't even load. Yeah, it got to this point where it goes, and it has this U150201. And when it does that, it just doesn't work. So that's a problem I'm having with, with uh, some of the disk images. And then I thought I would try the Ult Ultima 4 Reloaded, remastered, I, sh I should say. And I know there's a CRT version, but I wanted to try loading the disk version. And when I do the disk version, it only gets so far before it just doesn't work. And so I tried a few different disk versions and right here is where it fails. So it co comes to here, instead of getting, instead of having a black background right here and just loading the next se section, it just crashes. And the next section is where it goes into Lord British and it asks you to load the second disk, but it doesn't get that far. The other problem I'm having with with the cartridge is I'll show you the new bagman that that Luca Carminati made just recently um, and I've had this um, this problem to discuss is where it does the game saves it just doesn't work and so if you look at my best scores here I have 3700 Normally when you play this game, of course there'll be sound and everything as well, but if you were to score enough to get your name on the board, then uh, it will save your score. But I, I guess it doesn't recognize it doesn't recognize this as a, a savable game. So if I were to die, I just need to beat like 3,700. And if I lose all my men, as soon as you put your score in, you put in your name. And right after that, it's supposed to say saving high scores. 
And so here the game is over. I'll put in a, a, a. It didn't save. You go to your best scores, look at them. There's a, a, a at the bottom. But the score should have been saved by now. And it does work in emulation. I have tried it. It works fine. If I were to reset and go back in. And then look at the scores. It's back to what was on there previously. So the, I know the cartridge on the website, it says it has limited functionality with the D64. And I assume that's what they mean. It could be the problem with NTSC. I'm not sure. But... Those those are some of the problems. The main, the main ones that I would probably be using would be the CRT images anyway. And I forgot to mention, the main reason I'm using this bread bin C64 that doesn't have a, a working sound chip in it is because the Kung Fu cartridge is incompatible with my daily driver Commodore 64C. So I don't know if that's just my particular version of the C64C or if it uh, doesn't support them at all. That's why I had to use the bread bin C64. So there, it does run the CRTs um, pretty good. Please put in the firmware file in the root directory of the SD card. Oh shoot, it used to run CRTs fine, now it doesn't. 1.30 upgrade. Let me let me go back. Let's rename it. Let's refresh. So I renamed it there. Kung Fu Flash underscore V130. Let's see if my CRTs work now. little finicky on the, I didn't know, I didn't know it worked like that. So I, I think it had in parentheses two or something like that. So the, this is Dig Dug, just for example. And then a lot of people have tried, you know, the, the bigger, the bigger cartridges, you know, the uh, easy, easy flash cartridges and they work great on this as well. And then if you hit F1, you get a you get a help menu. So you can use your cursors or joystick to make your selections. You got the home key goes to the root, delete key goes direction uh, direct pops you up a directory. A to Z and 0 to 9 does a search. So I'll show you that. You have C128 mode, I assume that's when you're plugged into a Commodore 128. You have your F7, which brings you to basic. F8 is a kill. And uh, run stop is a reset. So if I do run stop, that's run stop, okay. Whoops, <laughs> I, did it. I did a reset, full reset. Delete, pops you up, okay. Now, if you're in a folder like the CRT and I want to look for like Dig Dug, you just type DIG and it goes right to it. Let's say I'm in here and I wanted to go to Tomahawk. Let's type Tom and it shows you, shows them right there. So it's really a neat little cartridge there. So with that, I'm going to give my final thoughts on the kung fu cartridge i am going to be waiting patiently for firmware updates hopefully they'll it'll improve some of the functionality that i'm seeing on my ntsc bread bin and will support uh, things such as disk saves and uh, switching uh, switching your disk to disk two it seems to me like perhaps the it might not even support when it when a game's loading um i'm not sure that there seem to be some problems with the big games when they load like the ultima remastered and uh, even below the root won't load and i tried a few different uh, versions of this so i'm not exactly sure what's what's going on with that but at any rate that is my quick overview of the kung fu cartridge 
I think it's pretty cool. I think it has a lot of uh, potential. And it supports the Commodore 128 as well. And it's cheap. It's a lot cheaper than getting something like the Ultimate 2 Plus cartridge. And, and it's a nice alternative. I really like that there's people out there working on actively working on, on these types of projects to further extend the retro community. I wanted to thank the futurewas8bit.com support for helping me out when I was trying to troubleshoot my C64C issues. I'll keep my eyes peeled for any new firmware updates, and if they fix any of the issues I've demonstrated, I'll post a future update. And that's all I have for this video, so thank you for watching.